Surely this has got to be enough for this poor bastard, isn't it? Eight redfish? Of course! And now catching eight redfish is probably the worst. Because you literally, you literally go to every part of the Zazen Town Duck Creek, as it's called, catching these damn fish. I am not amused. Alas, there's one red fish near the waterfall. Now we need to go all the way back to that area where there were no yellow fish and pick up the red fish that were there. It just sucks that all, every single character runs the exact same speed, although I want to think that uh, Sasaki runs a bit faster. There we go. <sighs> I'm having fun, aren't you? Don't you just love these fetch quests? Especially when it involves catching different colored fish for some lazy fisherman. Finally, we can give all of our, we can give all these fish that we worked so hard for to this guy, who still looks like a girl. You asshole! And all we get is a log. Oh, he's even Achilles' heel. Ah ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha ha! Oh, don't you get it? Because this log is apparently the Achilles heel of the asshole who's blocking the bridge. I love the logic in this game. Let's go be slaves to catch food for this lazy fisherman who looks like a girl. And all we get is a log. You know, not a sword or a... Witty comeback, even though the witty comeback would be resolved for any Monkey Island game. Okay. But of course, this log is just the key to the very first mini game of this game. Yes. This game has, has mini games, and the majority of them are used to get uh, your character's magical abilities. Finally, we can now go uh, on the bridge and fight this guy using logs. Bin guy. Cross this bridge. Ah! I can see in your eyes you want to fight. Very well, however, if you lose, I will blast you far, far away! Well, well. It's a fight with Bin Kay. Look for the instant Benkei reaches the ground when jumping, and throw the Achilles heel at him three times within the time limit. That's right, people, we're timed. This item can be thrown by pressing the B button. And this is it. Throwing a log at this guy, making sure that we don't F up. And every time he jumps, he changes his pattern. The guy gets really dirty right now. He will start destroying logs with his sword. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna lose. Oh no! No! Ah! That wasn't very far. He just dropped us off. The okay, people. I apologize. I've never lost that game before. 
Okay, we're back for a rematch. Yeah, the guy gets smart and realized that maybe... Gotcha! Wow, that took less time than... <laughs> oh, and this is where the term Achilles' heel was. It's not from, you know, the ancient battles where Achilles got that back part of his heel cut off and that was his only weak point. No! It's because of people were throwing logs at some asshole who was guarding a bridge just because he wanted money. <laughs> oh, God. And Abyssomaro points out that we know that's not the truth. Ugh! To be defeated in the same manner as I was by Ushiwaka. I beg of you, please don't tell anyone that I lost, please. I'll let you pass the bridge at will and I'll give you something from my collection. <gasps> and it's a rather dead looking Sasaki. What Binke pulled out was a s all stiff, with batteries almost falling out. It was none other than the mechanical ninja, Sasu Sasuki. Whatever. Sasuki. Sasaki. Sasuki. And he's dead! We can't use him until after we get past Ghost... I just jumped, whatever. We really can't use him until we get past Ghost Toy Castle. And then go into the Chugacho region. Which is where we find two batteries to place in his back. Ah, Yamoto. This place has probably one of the best overworld music. Uh, next to, uh, the Inga region. Um, crap, I'm trying to remember if there's a Silver Fortune doll in this area. I don't think so, no, it does not look like there is. Well, fine, we'll go take a look at this stream. Nothing. Go up the ladder. Nothing. Okay. But, don't worry, before we uh, continue on in the path we need to go, we're gonna we're gonna stop by a small area real quick to not only get money, but also to help us gain access to this small building. Which this is not the next dungeon, this is just a little building where Yeah, the door is locked with magical powers. Yes, it's the Yamato Shrine. And that is not the next dungeon. That is just a little area where I believe we can get two silver fortune dolls and an extra player. So as you'll notice, there are two entrances to this forest. However, we're going to want to take this one first. So this is the Turtle Shrine of Bamboo Forest. And real quick, I should I should point out that part three is probably going to be the longest of all the parts. If not, if not this part, then take that back. The final part will end up being the longest since that's when we tackle Peach Mountain Castle. So, but just fair warning, part three is going to be long. So as you can see, we have a cross with a small turtle rock in it. And if we read all the signs, it basically gives us hints on what it will do. The magical red gate shall take you to a new land. If we push the rock this way, I'll go ahead and show you. Actually, no, we'll do we'll do that one last. I don't I don't feel like warping there now. 